everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have another holiday favorite. This is gonna be a redo of my classic cold crab dip recipe. So I can't wait to show you how this awesome cold crab dip that is perfect for your holiday table all comes together. We're gonna be revisiting my crab dip. Now this crab dip is delicious. It's more like a spread, so we actually serve it with some crackers, and it's super easy to make. It's great if you're planning a holiday party because you can make it a couple of days in advance and you can just put some plastic wrap on it and stick it in your extra fridge. Uh, I got this recipe from someone, oh my gosh. Uh, circa 1992, 93, something like that. So uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. I'm using two bricks, eight ounces each, of softened cream cheese. I have one pound of lump crab meat. I buy this locally. It is Atlantic Blue Crab, and it is fresh from the ocean. Probably this morning, it was hand-picked. I'm fortunate enough to live on the coast where I can just run down to the fishmonger and buy fresh crab. If you cannot do that, you have a couple of options. You can use canned crab. Two cans of uh, crab meat flake. Also another alternative is uh, the imitation crab meat which is made with a white fish. You know that tastes really good as well. So you can use whatever your budget allows for and uh, whatever you have available to you in your neck of the woods. I have one recipe of my homemade cocktail sauce which we made in a previous video and I will also leave a link down below in the description box to where you can find that video. We're going to be using I have about four green onions, white and green part, all chopped up here. We're gonna put some in it and some on it. I have the juice of one large lemon, so it's about a quarter of a cup. For seasonings, I have a teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and seafood seasoning. So you should use whatever seafood seasoning is your preference. Thank you for watching and being a part of our community. And please consider hitting that thumbs up button if you like what you see. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. First thing you wanna do is get your mixer out and, and beat your softened cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. That's easy enough. Now I'm gonna just scrape down the bowl. Now I'm going to go ahead and use, not all of this crab meat is going in here. I'm gonna use about half of this. This is a one pound container. That means it's approximately two cups. I'm gonna use about half of it in the crab dip itself. And I'm gonna use some of it on the top. That means I'm probably not gonna use all of it. So I'll have some left over to make a delicious crab omelet in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna put half of these green onions in with the crab, just like that. We're gonna leave some to put on top all of our seeds seasonings, sprinkle it right on, and our lemon juice. And then we're gonna get our mixer back in here and we're gonna, you're just gonna blend everything together slowly. And that's the hardest thing you have to do with this dip. Next, I'm gonna grab a pie plate and then we're gonna finish putting this all together. Now I went ahead and I just um, scraped the cream cheese and crab mixture into a pie plate. I like making this in a pie plate. It makes it super easy to transport and it also makes it easy to serve because if you're gonna put this in the middle of a table and people are gonna be all around, it makes it really easy for multiple people to have access to the dish. Just spread this evenly in here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure it's as even as possible because it makes it, it makes for a nice looking dish. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the cocktail sauce on top. You may or may not use the entire recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it. Now, we'll go ahead and take some of this leftover crab meat. Of course, it's not really leftover. Extra crab meat. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers and sprinkle it on the top. That way, everybody knows this is crab dip because there's crab on the top. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some of these additional green onions over the top and your crab dip is finished. I am taking this to a baby shower tomorrow morning so I will not be digging into this. I know you'd really love it if I did. 
but I am going to be serving this with some buttery crackers so like a club cracker or a townhouse or a Ritz is a perfect go along here also some sliced baguette is nice if that's something people would enjoy celery sticks are also an amazing go along with this so you really can make up your own mind as to what you're gonna serve this with. This would be really good spread on a flip-flop, I'm not gonna lie. It's absolutely delicious, and it's the perfect thing to put on your holiday buffet. This is how you make my delicious cold crab dip. Super easy to make, great to make in advance, up to three days. I wouldn't go any further out than that, especially if you're using fresh crab meat, and just stick it in your fridge, tightly wrapped, and it'll be perfect on the day of your party, or whenever you're gonna be taking it. If, you're, if you've been invited to bring something. I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, happy holidays.